Citadel is is for a genre film. It's a it's an oddly personal one. Um, I tend to describe the film as a sort of a half autobiography, half psychological horror. Um, just in so far as the, the the condition that the main character suffers with, agoraphobia, um, is something that I battled with myself in my late teens and early twenties. Um, I was uh, the victim of a pretty vicious and unprovoked attack by a, by a, a gang of youths um, that left me with this, um, <clears throat> this phobia. So I sort of combined uh, my, my experiences with that and my eventual recovery from that with my nightmares and sort of paranoid imaginations um, and, and, and came up with, uh, with this story that sort of um, yeah, eventually became Citadel. And the writing of it I found the hardest because I had to keep bathing my mind in, in scenarios that I'd rather forget but at the same time thinking about it uh, from an audience's point of view and also from a genre audience's point of view because I'm a geek at heart and I, I wanted to make a, a cool film as well as something that was, was dramatically real. Um, so, and then the shoot, the shoot was the craziest thing I've ever done in my life because we, we shot for 23 days in what was the worst winter that Glasgow has ever had on record. Um, it was m minus 19 some days. Um, and uh, so it was just, um, you know, we were losing locations and it was just so chaotic because of the snow. We weren't expecting snow. We shot for a week before the snow fell. Um, and so when the snow fell, we started, we were losing locations because road, it's quite hilly in Glasgow and some of the roads became inaccessible because of the ice. And, um, and we had we did everything that you shouldn't do on a first feature low budget. You know, we had gangs of kids, we had babies, we had two twin boys playing the baby girl, we had special effects makeup, we had locations, stunts, everything that you, you probably shouldn't do on your first on your first film. Um, and uh, and so it was just so chaotic and, and was so, uh, you know, it was like laying the track down as the train was already moving that I didn't have time to feel any sort of, you know, personal battles or, or, or you know, um, feelings that it was, it was uh, tough to, you know, on a personal level, tough to make. It was just on a physical level, tough to make. So, so it was actually the writing and the editing that were the most sort of personal for me.